Hello and welcome. Here is my July 18th market update for the Santa Rosa Beach area in the beautiful Panhandle in Florida. I do monthly market updates because I think the best way for you to really truly understand what's happening in the market is to take a look at what is going on today, what happened last month and what's going on compared to last year. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy this market update. Well, let's jump right into the data. So remember, I'm comparing active pending and sold listings from today, June 17 to last month's data. And then we'll take a look at the statistical reports from the Flex MLS reflecting June's data. So this is kind of like a little glimpse on where we're heading. And then we take a look at the data from last month that is now available to us on the Flex MLS. So as of today, June 17, residential, we have from 30A West and East, 814 active listings. As of last month, we had 753. So the number of listings slightly went up. Wow, look at this, 223 pendings. We're actually up in pendings. We had 178 pendings when I did the market update back in June. And what about the sold data? 675 sold homes. And that was going back 180 days. I always go back 180 days so that the data that I'm reflecting on is consistent. And last month we had 630 sold listings. Let's compare them all in a little pie chart, uh, graph here. So you can see 49% are active listing, 40% uh, sold and 9%, almost 10% pendings. So here is those numbers that we just discussed in the video. And more importantly, take a look at the average home. You here you have your original list price and then of course what it sold for. List the average list price is 909 and the sold price is 823 a square foot. But more importantly, take a look at the list to sold ratio. That's kind of important and also the days on the market. And, and I like to look at the search statistics to give you an overview of everything. Most importantly, let's just look at the average uh, home that sold. The average list price is close to 2.5 million, sold price right at two. Here is your list price per square foot and your average sold price per square foot. Always keep in mind location, location, location. Uh, that is really the key thing here. This is only an average. And one of the other things I like to look at is the days on the market and also the sold original to list price ratio of 94.36. Why is that important? Well, if you're buying, you know there's a little wiggle room in price. And if, you are, if you're listing your property, you need to know what it takes for a listing to sell. So it does not sell immediately once you put it on the market. Of course, it does happen, but now you have to price it very aggressively. Um, so these, these statistical data are really good for both buyers and sellers. Those of you who have been watching my market update every month know I always like to look at the lowest price listing on 30A, and that is an efficiency at 349000 on the east end of 30A. Our highest price listing sitting on this beautiful Emerald Coast for $25 million. And it has been the highest price listing for as long as I can remember doing these market updates. So, um, but there are a few right behind it at $22.5 and $22 million. So that is what Golf Fund can buy you. Of course, there are some lower priced Golf Fund homes on the Emerald Coast. Reviewing the data at the beginning of the video, you need to keep in mind that the MLS system, these, these reports are done only for up to June 23. So when I first looked at the data to identify the number of active pending and sold listing, that is what's indicating in July. And now, of course, we're just going up to look at data based to June. So next month, when we come back, we're going to see a slight change here 
in the in these graphs just because we saw that there were a little bit more listings but also more pendings and the sold kind of stayed the same uh, but what's interesting is that the list price is kind of very steady look at that in march april may and june it has really not significantly changed what is however changing up to june 23 is the absorption rate and we're looking at about 3.61 months what does that mean that means that if you had all the active listings right now and no you would not add any additional listings to this market it would take almost close to 3.6 months for those listings to currently be absorbed in that market that is kind of interesting because as a seller you need to know what the average time period is it takes to sell your listing and also uh, that is kind of uh, you know depending on how aggressively you pricing your listing how quickly can you sell it um, and then of course look at this graph very interesting as well because it indicates the sold to list ratio you know what was the original list price and what did the property sell by here again the days on the market actually had declined from may to june which is really kind of normal and typical because it we are in our highest selling season here in the emerald coast but the prices have still really they're still holding their own so and that is something to remember take a look at what happened last year in june our absorption rate was only two months versus 3.61 but now look at the average sales price you would think that the sales prices have come down significantly but here is your proof my friends look in june of 2022 the average list price was 1 million one nine and now in june of 2023 the average list price is 1 million two seventy seven isn't that interesting finally let's take a look at the property type year to date activity report from the beginning of january to july 17th which is today's date so this is going to give you um a little bit of an indication what the price points are for the area so 38 east is always a little bit higher than the west end and the average sales price is sitting at 2 million two and 38 west end you're looking at 1 million five bay county uh is about 675 and the crestview area is about 319 not too many changes in crestview they have been holding steadily destin at 868 and fort walton beach at 391 freeport is one of the fastest growing counties communities uh right now and you're looking at an average price at 450. wow mima beach is pretty uh doing really well as well at 982 and then north santa rosa beach this is north santa rosa county so we're going to scroll down to north santa rosa beach and believe it or not the average list price north santa rosa beach is 781 but keep in mind there's such a range you know homes on the bay are priced so higher than homes closer to 98 so it always comes down to location 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 well i thought it was quite interesting that you see that we had a little bit more listings hitting the market but we also had some more pendings happening which is really kind of common in our area because june july and august is our heavy rental season vacation time for any kind of investors sometimes it's a little harder to view property so i predict that in august september you'll see a little bit fluctuation of some of the listing going pending but what is really going to happen in this market there are so many factors i wish i could tell you for sure i mean we're going to depend on election we're going to um the interest rates the interest rates are going to play a crucial crucial factor so we need to keep a really good eye on it because my prediction is that once they start dropping you will see more buyers coming to this area and always remember it's about the location 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 
I personally love the pen handle. It reminds me so much of a, light, a little European town. I just came back from Spain and I just always love to come home to this beautiful area. We have the sugar white sand beaches and the beautiful Emerald Coast, which you don't find very often anywhere else in this beautiful world. Until the next time, auf Wiedersehen, tschüss, goodbye.